All right, good morning everyone. Buenos dias, buongiorno. My name is Chef Martin. This is To The Nude Life. Uh, later today, I'm going to make some beef fajitas. So right now, what I'm going to make is pico de gallo. This is how I make my pico de gallo, and it's basically everybody does it the same. It's very simple, all right? Pico de gallo is awesome on anything. First thing that you got is tomato, jalapeno, onion I always cut in half, and then my lime for last, and then my cilantro, all right? My tomato, what I do, the way I do it, I always cut the bottom end, then I cut the top end, then I set it down, and I go almost all the way to the bottom. What you're trying to do is you're gonna do like a little checkerboard, all right? That's all you're doing. Then you flip it around, go again, bam, bam, what are you? See, I like my tomatoes a little big, and then you hold it like a tennis ball or whatever, and you just start slicing. And there's all your tomatoes, all right? Man, it already looks good. Then I take my tomato and I put it into my bowl. Yes, I wash my hands. I always wash my hands, all right? <laughs> always wash your hands. So my tomatoes are ready, all right? Like I said, my onion, I always cut in half, and what I'll do is I'll do the same thing. I'll do all, almost all the way to the bottom, little slices. Uh, again, it's only me, so I really don't need that much. So I'm just going to save half of the onion, that's all. All right, put that over there. Then what I'm going to do is I'll cut a little, take the slice at the bottom, another slice at the top, hold it like a tennis bar or whatever, and just start slicing. All right, let the knife do its work. The knife, you got to have sharp knives, all right? Mine, wherever I travel, I always try to find good knives. If I do, then I'll, I'll purchase them right there. I mean, my knives are all not the same brand. Let me put it like that. If I like it, I'm buying it. That's what I use, all right? So now I got my cebolla, my onion. Next, my pepper, my jalapeno. I don't like seeds in my jalapenos. Um, so I always roll it on my hands. That'll loosen the seeds inside. Then I beat it a little bit. Finish rolling it. And then I'll cut the top off. Just have the seeds start falling out. All right, once the seeds have fallen out, there you go, what are they? Then I just cut it in, in half. And then I'll cut it in quarter. And then I'll just start slicing it, all right? Same thing, I'll add the, the jalapeno to the pico de gallo. And then we'll go from there. I'm telling you, it's already smelling good. I love it, I love it. I love cooking this. All right. Got my jalapenos. And then my cilantro. All you want to do is just a rough cut. Just grab it, just rough cut it. Again, just let your knife do the, the work. I would have used my other chef's knife, but <laughs> I sort of longed it out to downstairs. They were hurting cutting a steak last night. So that's all right, it's good to go. All right, here's my cilantro. And then the last thing I do is I add my, here's my lime. Always cut the lime like this because of the more juice, add the juice to it. I should have put it here so y'all can see it. Then I do my sea salt. Mush it all together. Bring it all together. Look at that. And then yes, I'll wash my hands, but I want you to I'll send a, I'll post a photo of the final product, but that's what it looks like, all right? That's my pico de gallo. All right, hope everyone has a great day. And on the bifaquitas, I'll let y'all know if they're good or not. They probably, they will be. All right, I'll see y'all later. This is Chef Martin. Adios. Hey, y'all take care of each other, all right? Adios.